This video shows the procedure for establishing Ethernet IP communications between the Balif BISV processor and a Rockwell PLC using Logix 5000. Attached to the BISV processor is a BISVU antenna. The BISVU antenna is used to read and write to UHF ultra high frequency RFID tags. Beforehand, the BISV processor's EDS file was downloaded off the Balif website and saved to our desktop. Also, the add-on instructions for both the BISV processor and the BISVU antenna was downloaded and saved as well. All items can be downloaded at www.balif.com. The current setup is as follows. The BISV processor is a single Ethernet IP node, and it's attached through a single Ethernet cable to the Rockwell PLC. The BISVU antenna is attached to head one of the BISV processor. The BISV processor is capable of connecting up to four RFID heads. There's also a UHF RFID tag that's placed in front of the BISVU antenna. In Logix 5000, we have our PLC project already loaded with the PLC. The first step is to import the EDS file of the BISV Ethernet IP processor. This is done by going to Tools and selecting EDS Hardware Installation Tool. Once the wizard comes up, hit the next button. Now select register an EDS file. From here, we want to select browse and browse to where the EDS file was downloaded on our PC. Select the EDS file and hit open. Next, you want to select the EDS file itself and hit next. You could select the graphic for the processor and now hit next and now finish. Now the EDS file has been loaded onto Logix 5000. Now the BISV processor can be added into the network. Right click on Ethernet and select new module. From here select Balif. Under catalog look for the BISV processor. Select create. Give the controller a name. The IP address must match to the physical IP address that was previously set on the controller. This will create the controller to be added into the tree. Next, the add-on instructions for the both the controller and the antenna can be added into the project. To do this, right click on add on instructions and select import add on instruction. The add on instruction was previously installed to the C directory on the laptop under a ballot folder. First, select the BISV processor add on instruction. Import this into the project. Next, we will import the add-on instruction for the BISVU antenna. Right-click on add-on instruction and select import add-on instructions again. Now, under the VU antenna, Look for the U folder. Double click on this. Select the add on instruction for the BISVU antenna.
Now both add-on instructions are successfully imported into the project. First, the BISV processor AOI can be dragged into a ladder routine. The first line is a control line for the add-on instruction. Here, a new tag can be created. Next two lines are the raw input and output data of the BISV processor that we created earlier. So first, to select the input data, double click and go to the name of the processor, expand the dot I for your input data. Select this. Do the same for the raw output data of the processor. Select the tag for the O dot data that was created when the processor was created. The next four lines are for the four individual heads that be, can be plugged into the processor. You can create tags for each of the heads. The last line is for the IO link port that's on the processor. This is where the IO link control data would go. Right click and create new data tags for each of the variables. Next, add a new ladder rung and select the add-on instruction for the BIS VU antenna. Again, the first line is going to be the control line for the add-on instruction. A new tag can be created for that. In the next line, that under head data, this is where you select the head that is physically plugged into the BISV processor. So going back to our previous AOI, we want to select head 1 to let this BISVU antenna shows that it's attached to head 1 of the BISV processor. Next, we will create tag names for both the interface. This is for the command controls of the VU. as well as where a tag that shows where the data would reside. Once the program has been downloaded into the PLC, we can go and test our AOI. The BISVU antenna would be controlled under BISVU interface. Right click and go to monitor this. When you expand the interface, you would see a tag called number of bytes. This is the number of bytes that you want to wish to read and write from the RFID tag. In this example, we'll type in 20. The start address can also be changed under the start address tag. If you expand interface.command, you would see all the commands for the BISVU antenna. In this example, we will try to use a read EPC command. Under this tag, type in a 1 and hit enter. This will then execute on the BU antenna. From here, you could see that the VU antenna has tried to go out and successfully read the tag. And the, the lower orange LED shows that a tag was present. To look back at the data, go back into the main routine and select carrier and go to monitor. From the VU data tag, if we expand that, we will see a read data command under readData.epc, which is the command that was executed, 
If we expand this, we will see the ECP byte that was read. So here you could see that this tag contains some values of the 20 bytes that was read from the RFID tag. A write command to the EPC can be done in a similar fashion. First, we want to go under VU data and select the write data tag. When we expand this, we could either write to the EPC value or we could write to the user data that's on the UFL tag. When we expand EPC, we could type in some values that we want to write to the RFID tag. After we put in our RFID data that we want to write, we go back into our interface.command tag. Under the write EPC, we want to write a 1 value to this tag and hit enter. If you watch the BI's VU antenna, you would see that it will flash blue whenever the antenna is powered up and communicating to the RFID tag. After it's done communicating, if it was successful, the orange LED will also light on the bottom low, lower hand corner showing that a write was successful. I'll do it again. Now we could go back and read that EPC to read back the data that was written. So under the read EPC tag, set it to a 1 and hit enter. And now if we go back into our read data, expand that for the EPC, we should see the new data that was written. Later logic can also be implemented to read the EPC value. Here we have an examine on for a read EPC. When toggled, it would send a one shot to execute the read EPC command from the interface. Here, when we toggle the bit, you could see that the processor antenna went out and performed the read EPC command. 